Uh, my favorite part of the Coney is the chili. Coney dog, first time I had one was the first time I decided that I was gonna be in love with them and try to have one every single week. But you know, I like, like Coney dog and french fries sometimes. That's my favorite meal. I love that dry coney sauce here. Overall taste, how everything comes together. The onions, the mustard, the, the coney. I think the mixture of probably the secret sauce, the mustard and the onion. Mr. Bread Buns, Cobra Hot Dogs, Secret Sauce, Mustard and Onion. I love Coney Dogs, and there might be no better place to get one than in Michigan. Some say Michigan is the birthplace of the Coney Dog itself, and it's home to some of the most famous Coney restaurants in the country. I've had Coney dogs from all over Michigan, from Detroit to Ann Arbor to Grand Rapids, and I've enjoyed them all. So when somebody told me recently that Flint makes the best Coney dog, I was a little skeptical, but curiosity got the best of me. So I set out with my partner to learn a little more about the Flint Coney. Where do we begin? I asked a few locals what they thought. My favorite spot to grab a colony is Angelo's, definitely. My favorite spot is Starlight. Yeah, Starlight. Yeah, I've been in Tom's I like theirs, like, pretty well. I think the cheese matches up with how I want my cheese to be. <laughs> We started our journey at Angelo's Coney Island, a local favorite and one of the oldest restaurants in Flint. Back in 94, 95 when I started, it was lined up out the door. Um, third shift is the shift that I work and it was still lined up out the door. It was breakfast people, lunch people, uh, bar crowd, everybody came in. So, what tomatoes? What can I get for you guys today? Flint Coney is our best. The original Flint Coney. Um, the Flint style is the original Coney sauce with the secret recipe, then the mustard, the onion, the Cobra hot dog. And we've used Mr. Bread for as long as probably Angelo's has been here. Definitely chili right here. Let's do just a spoonful. Make sure it's all nice and even head to toe. Okay. Grab your plate. mustard. If you don't have all those flavors mixed together, you might miss out. Even if you don't like onions, you should probably get light onions just so you can get that real original flavor. Uh, a lot of people that lived here during the Buick time and have moved away, a lot of people still come back. They get Coney sauce, they get the Cobra hot dogs because you can only get those in Michigan and the original Coney sauce from here. I've had Virginia, I've had Tennessee, I've had Florida. All those people come and just buy the stuff and take it home. And it's not only folks from Flint raving about these Coney's. Some of these Flint restaurants turn up consistently in top national rankings. So what is it that makes these Flint Coney's so unique? 
if you want it to be a true pony, it has to be a kobold. You have to have the snap when you bite into there. <laughs> that any other hot dog, it probably just wouldn't taste like a pony anymore. It has to be kogels for me. It can't be. It can't be anything else. Kogels. Got to be kogels. In Flint, it's got to be a kogel. It has to be a kogel. It has to be a kogel Vienna. To be a true, you know, Flint style cone. Doing it for, since 1949, so something, you know, it works. Kogel hot dogs are manufactured not far from Angelo's, in Flint Township. I'm John Kogel. I am the president of Kogel Meats. We've been in business now 101 years. We're a Michigan company. We're still family owned and operated. My grandfather learned the meat business through the apprenticeship program in Germany. He then left Germany, uh, came to America. He opened a retail shop in downtown Flint, down on Kersley Street, right down there. Um, 1930, he built a plant in downtown Flint, began to specialize more in the processed meat products. In 1972, my father built a plant here, which we're sitting in right now. We still use the same recipes, that most of the same recipes that my grandfather developed years ago. So this is a, a spice pack that's pre-blended for us. Again, based on my grandfather's recipes, are these, these are spice blends. And what we do is we go out to our chopper, we take one of these spice packs, or possibly two of them, we dump it into the, to the mix, and then, then it has everything in it that we need for that batch. And then we naturally smoke it. We use naturally hardwood sawdust and, and smoke it. So you can see that's just the smoke, the natural thing, we're pumping that in there. You can see the difference between the raw and the starting to cook right here. We already alluded to it, but we do things the way that my grandfather did them years ago. We want to stick to that. We want to stick to our recipes, to exactly what he made. If somebody ate our hot dog 50 years ago and they're eating it today, hopefully throughout that time they have sensed no change because there hasn't been any change. The authors of Coney Detroit say in their 2012 book that the best conies in Flint use Kogel hot dogs as well as a dry, meat-only coney sauce that has become so popular in Flint. There are two different kinds of coney sauce. We make a Detroit-style sauce, and that, that has many of the same ingredients, but it is more of a, of a textured gravy, I guess. A Detroit coney is with soup chili. It has beans in it. So a Flint coney is a dry... Or just a dry meat, no okay. beans, burger only. I think the Flint Cody is unique because it's dry, so it has a different feel from everyone else's. This dry Coney sauce in Flint is often referred to as a meat topping, and to the uninitiated, it can look a little strange. But trust us, this Flint Coney is something definitely worth seeking out. Even in West Virginia, they don't have Coney's, they call them chili dogs, and it's Definitely not the same as here, so. What's the difference? Um, the hot dog's different. There's absolutely no snap. The sauce is made completely different. It's kind of just, I could make the sauce at home and it's, it's just not Flint Coney sauce, so. <laughs> it's what it's great for, Coney sauce, it's Flint. Flint is the best. My hometown, Flint, Michigan, I feel like they have the best Coney dogs. It was good. Really good. <laughs> What'd you say to the person who invented the cone? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't have to eat a regular hot dog anymore. Person who invented the cone, I would say that I really appreciate you and everything you've done in my life. Mm -hmm.